intercept with them. Do not be afraid. I'll bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in thorns and lying in the manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with an angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom is favor rest. The word of the Lord. As you have heard in our gospel reading this morning, the birth of Jesus Christ brought joy, presence, and hope to everyone. Today, Christian world law are celebrating, singing, rejoicing, and anticipating, and gifts likely wait for some. So let us hold on to the story. As we hold on to the story, we can start with Emperor Augustus. So then Roman Emperor, the day of Jesus' birth, probably made more ripple in his life. Caesar Augustus, the adopted son of Julius Caesar, considered it just like they have come to power to, after civil wars following Julius Caesar's death. He might have enjoyed peace. His reign stretched over part of three continents Africa, Europe, and Asia. He would not have noticed the birth of a lower class little boy in a small town. No heavenly chorus in that song. And he may not have been aware So what about Mary and Joseph? When Caesar Augusta issued a degree that everyone had to travel to their hometown, he registered for the census. They had to pack the bags and go. Probably they may have experienced some unsettling emotions, had to travel that distance, especially Mary being pregnant. But the trouble and true childbirth after they arrived, and then the visit of the shepherd. So in this Christmas story, the shepherd has seen the angels. They have heard the voices from heaven. And I'm, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. So you and is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is the Messiah of the Lord. Maybe these words stay with him. Who would have forgotten such an experience, such a message? Mary and Joseph still would have a hard life, but they had experienced the message of the shepherd who told them of the visit of the angels. Mary treasured those words that you heard from Gabriel. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary and Joseph would draw strength and purpose from those words. Those words would who sustain them and give them purpose. As we look at our world on this Christmas, we can hold on to this story. 
We can reach back to Gabriel's word to Mary that God has brought down the powerful from the throne, but, was lift, but has lifted the humble. We hear in that the message that God judges those who misuse power and wealth. If we feel foolish around, God has the last say. God will care for those who do not have enough. For some of us, the circumstances of our lives may not have changed because of Christmas. Nevertheless, we can face our lives with courage and strength. God has come into this world. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph have the spirit of situation of our lives. God understands. God walks with us. Emmanuel, God, is with us. So on this day, let us rejoice in what God has done in Jesus. Even if the world seems dangerous, let us claim the power to stand up for those who need our voice in action. Let us take hope because God cares for us. Let us open our eyes to the way everything has changed and hold on to the story. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we celebrate this season with you as we celebrate the birth of our Savior. Your son. We thank you for your grace and provision as you brought together the redemption of your people to a child in the fullness of God. We recognize the sin of the light of the world in flesh and blood. It is Jesus Christ who is our Prince of Peace and our hope in this world that so desperately needs. Father, I pray for those who gather in the name, in your name today. We pray for protection from all danger and temptation. May they worship without fear on this day. May your name be lifted around the earth by people of every tribe and every nation. We think of those who serve on the mission field and pray that you will continue to provide for their needs and allow them to see your miracle hand at work in their ministry. We also pray, O oh Lord, for our veterans and those men and women who serve in our military. Please keep them safe and bring them home in the coming year. We pray for the families as they celebrate this Christmas with an empty chair, knowing the sons and daughters grandsons and granddaughters are in a place they will never go. Give them peace. Grant them a strength as they enter the new year. Father, we recognize that many will be on the road as we ask for your protection for all who travel to see family and friends. We thank you for today's nurses and staff away from family and friends. May you give them your peace and joy as they serve. We know some are ill and suffering and cannot travel. We pray for the physical and emotional health. We think of those here at the Erie VA Medical Center and other facilities. May they sense your love and know ours as you work in them bring comfort. We pray, O Lord, for the churches in this community as they meet on this day. We pray that with all the servants and all the sins, we might know the depth of your love for us. Bring joy to that congregation this Christmas. Heavenly Father, there are those within our cities and our neighborhoods who 
to that door you have to do, we pray that you reach out there. So I pray for each one of us as we take the message of Jesus in our homes and workplaces. That those who do not know you will just yet be able to see and hear and touch you, the hands, the word of life in us. Be the word in the world, in the flesh, through us. Would you open those eyes as you did the eyes of Simeon and Anna? And allow them to see the true gift of Christmas, the Savior of our souls, in the light of the world, who has come to live with us and in us. With all the sins, we pray together the prayer you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now let us receive our blessing. May the wisdom of the, of the wonderful counselor, the peace of the Prince of Peace, the love of the everlasting Father, and the blessing of our Almighty God rest on us and all those we pray for this Christmas day and always. Amen. And now I will say thank you for coming and thank you for sharing this Christmas day with me. Go in peace. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you.